red spider is um, red in autumn just before it hibernates so that's August and September but the rest of the year it's a translucent yellowy green with two black spots on its back it's very tiny and you can only just see it with your naked eye the damage they do is it sucks small amounts of sap out of the leaves which turns the upper side of the leaf yellow so you get little yellow dots when there's a lot of red spider the yellow dots coalesce together and uh, the whole leaf turns yellow usually that's accompanied by tiny little webs underneath the leaf where the insects live uh, control of red spider is by a mite called phytocelius the mite feeds on the, the red spider and the eggs so it will eat 20 eggs a day or about five larvae a day the important thing about phytocelius is because it doesn't fly you've got to put it on the same leaf as the red spider are damaging the um, mites will crawl around up and down the stem from uh, leaf to leaf but they don't travel a long way especially if there's something to eat um, they won't go any further as soon as the uh, red spider mite appears on the plants you need to uh, order the phytocelius the phytocelius is a red orange mite a little bit bigger than the uh, red spider but not much bigger and it's important to do it as soon as the uh, red spider appear on the crop otherwise uh, the red spider are likely to get ahead and do a lot more damage before your control appears um, when you get the um, bottle of uh, phytocelius it will look like this uh, rotate it a bit to spread out the mites in the um, in the vermiculite and then you have to put them on the same leaf as the uh, red spider is damaging so you just give it a shake and a few grains of vermiculite come out like that like that and these mites will then go round to the back of the leaf and look for um, red spider mites if the weather's really hot it's important to um, spray some water around the greenhouse um, this keeps the humidity up and stops the eggs of the phytocelius drying out and not uh, hatching out which will be our next generation of control uh, generally hot sunny days with temperatures in the greenhouse above 30 degrees centigrade are going to be a problem to the phytocelius <laughs>